Hi, it's Tom here and welcome to another Gradle best practice tip. And this time I'd like to recommend that you consider running your tests in parallel. And this is great news if you're tired of those really slow tests and you feel like you're spending most of your time waiting for tests to run. Because Gradle has a nice way that it allows you to fork several processes and run multiple tests at the same time. Now it's worth considering that normally unit tests are a good candidate to run in parallel because they should be independent. Sometimes though we have tests that depend on some kind of shared resource like database data. These aren't such good candidates as you could get unexpected behavior. But anyway, in this video you're going to see how to run tests in parallel and you should be able to apply that to your own project to improve your productivity. And right here we've got a simple Gradle project, parallel test example. It's using the Java plugin and right here I've got three test classes. So I've got test one, it sleeps for three seconds and then does some extremely complex maths in this assertion. Test two is pretty much the same, it also sleeps for three seconds. And then in test three I'm also sleeping for three seconds and pushing the mathematical world forward with this complex division. Anyway, let's try running this test. And in Gradle, if you've already run tests before and you haven't changed anything, then they won't rerun. And the recommended way to get tests to rerun is by running Gradle W space clean test and then test. So just to reiterate, this isn't something you'd normally do because you can rely on Gradle's incremental build feature. And as expected, these tests are kind of slow. Each one is taking at least three seconds and the total build takes 11 seconds. So let's have a go at running these in parallel and see what happens. So I'm going to open up the build.gradle and to do this, it's very simple. We just need to configure this test configuration block and there's a single property which is max parallel forks and in this case I'm going to set it to three. So this is saying that we want Gradle to start three different processes for running tests. So let's run the test task again. And you can see right here we've got three processes for each test. And that was a lot quicker, it completed in five seconds because we had our three tests running in parallel. And one thing to point out here is that the number of max parallel forks you can set is by default limited by the number of CPUs you have available. So I think you get the idea of how this works and maybe you're thinking how this could apply to your own project to save you time. But to illustrate this with a real life example, I'm going to use the popular mocking framework Makito. So I've cloned the project and I want to run the tests inside that project. Now Makito is a lot more of a complex project obviously and it consists of several sub projects, but I just want to run the tests in the parent project which is why I'm using this syntax here with the colons. And just like before, we're running clean test and test. And by default, Makito doesn't set max parallel forks, so it should use one process and run the tests sequentially. So I'm just gonna kick this off. And then if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go and get a cup of tea. So just wait here while I do that. Oh, it's finished already. Sorry about that. You should have said something. Okay, cool. So we can see here that these tests took 1 minute and 23 seconds to run. Not too bad in the grand scheme of things. So what we're going to do now is just edit the build.gradle in a similar way to the simple project. I'm going to configure the test configuration and I'm going to set the max parallel forks property once again to 3. So we've got 1 minute 23, let's see if we can do any better with parallel tests. So let's run clean test test again. Okay, cool, that was quicker. I was just watching that from under my desk. So that's 1 minute 2 seconds, so that's 21 seconds quicker. So let's say maybe about 25% quicker. And I think you'll agree that that's definitely worthwhile to be running tests in parallel like that. So just as a quick recap, you can run tests in parallel 
by in your build script configuring this test block and setting the max parallel forks to three. And of course, you can play around with this number to see what gives you the best results on your machine or on your target build environment. And hopefully you can come up with something that's going to be optimum for your specific project. And if you'd like to hear more Gradle best practice tips like this, then why not subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm doing one tip every day for 30 days and you can catch up with all these videos. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next Gradle best practice tip.